there you go. He's running through the environment, has a little bit of dust through his thing. You can't really see what he's doing. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, actually, no, it's, not, it's not too bad. Hello there, and today what we're going to do is we're going to take our uh, character who's been we've been working with and running, and we're going to add a, a couple more effects to make it a little more more exciting. Um, we're going to add like a sh shadow effect, um, similar to the one in uh, Castlevania, um, like Symphony of Night with him running around, and the other one would be to add uh, more like a dust trail. For the character as they, he runs along dust he'll kick up dust so what we'll do is first create a small sprite for the dust and th this is going to be similar to what we did with our um, different game we, we just worked on the space game that i've been working on let's make it a Yeah, maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger than that. Let's see, no, that's fine. So we'll make it a uh, three by three. See if that that's if we need to adjust it later, we will. Um, we'll make it white. We'll give it a center. Now we're going to create two objects for the two effects that we're adding. One is we're going to create an object um, shadow. Or I guess we don't want to call it a shadow or. Uh, we're going to call it a fade image. We are going to create, give it some properties, uh, fade steps and fade life, I guess. Or so this will be, we're just going to keep it around a very short period of time. So the room speed. Maybe a quarter of a second. And give it a fade step. So and then we're going to create at another event. Step, and we're going to create. First thing we have is our fade steps. I'm going to subtract one. So for less than our the length of our life, we are going to then fade away to nothing and get rid of it. And what we're going to do up here is our alpha of our image will be fade life, uh, the, our, our fade steps by, by our fade life. Actually, what we're gonna, I'm going to change something in here. This way, we can uh, use this and only have to set one variable instead of having to change the fade steps and fade life. What we're going to do set this to ne to negative one. So if our fade life is less than zero, our fade life will be what's our fade steps. That way we set it automatically uh, the first time we come through and don't have to worry about some other time. And we're also going to take our image and our image speed is going to be zero because we just want to keep whatever it's basically like a snapshot of the image at the time and we're going to set it to zero. We're fading out life destroying it. Yeah, that's what we want. Then we are going to take our boy. So when we're running along so let's see where we got So if we're running, we're going to go ahead and create 
our image where we're at. So we're going to create another. This time we're going to use a with clause because we don't have to compare anything. And a with clause will let us assign variable uh, assign variables as if if we're in that code in that code base already within that instance. Uh, we need, also need to go back to the fade image. Do two things. I'm going to create a fade color. We're just going to create set it to red, and we're going to create our draw image. We're going to override it so we can change the way it looks. And this is where we overwrite it with our fade color. So we leave everything as the original image as it processes, and then we overwrite it with a fade color. Default it to red. Okay. Actually, this is what we need to change. So I guess we're going to not use the with clause after all. We're going to call it a shadow. And this is why we're going to do that. Shadow, we want to create the sprite index as the in sprite index that we're using for our current object. Our We could actually put this in a um, script. I think we're going to do that. We're just going to create our shadow. And I think our parameter is going to be the color. So sprite index, our image index is what we're on now. And then our fade color is going to be argument zero. Now we can go ahead and do things like um, check, like uh, uh, you know, if if the argument isn't set, you know, have a default. But we're just going to assume. Going to pass that in there. All right, so our shadow fade color is going to be argument zero. We're going to just go ahead and create our, create our shadow. That way, if we use it for some other object, we can just fade it out. This is going to happen when we run. Let's go ahead and try that out. Yeah, it's a little probably. You can see the, the the fade shadow there. Um, oh, I know a couple things we need to do. So our shadow, we also want to create, make sure our depth is the same. That way we're drawn in front of everything. And I don't think we want, let's make that a secondary. Dirt like a duration. So maybe a tenth of a second. We'll go down here and get rid of this and try it again. Interesting. All right, so the difference here 
So we're flipping the image. When we draw this, we're not actually changing the scale. Or are we scale? All right, so one of the things I don't necessarily like is our fade image just isn't fading based on the, it's fading based on the duration. The first one thing we're going to do is image blur. So this, this was just not fading opaque and uh, didn't have enough transparency, so I adjusted that. That way we... Uh, Get more of a motion blur, motion blur than what we we currently have. So we're now going to show you the. We're going to create an object dust. I'm going to give it a little bit of a life. And really, this is going to be very similar to this fade object we just did. In fact, we can copy it and then adjust it based on what we're what we're going to do. So get the dust, we're going to do two things. We're going to give it a lifespan. We're going to give it an image speed, which really doesn't matter. We're going to give it a rotate speed, and we're going to make that random. We're going to, since we're not fading it out, we I guess we're going to keep go ahead and fade it out anyway. So we're going to change the image angle. Don't need a fade color. We're going to give it a, a different varying sizes. And we're going to give it a vertical, uh, vertical speed. Since it's dust, we're just going to make it go up. Anywhere from 0 to 1. So we're giving it a duration, a lifespan, like we had before. We'll just go ahead and leave, get rid of it. If it has a we, if you create dust that has a little bit of an animation, keep that, um, rotate, random, rotate it. Um, I'm going to probably rotate it in a negative direction, give it a bit of a vertical speed, and then we are going to, as we run, we'll do this for different characters, so we'll do the same thing we did before. But create dust doesn't really need a color, just a duration. I guess we could use a color sometime later. Like if you're right now, we'll just keep it white because we want to keep the same color. Dust. We're not changing the sprite. We're not changing the image. We'll keep the color, the depth we're keeping, and then we are going to do this. Uh, some sort of amount. So we'll repeat it so many times. And we're going to say create dust. And we're going to give it three for right now. All right. Did I delete the fade image that I touch? Fade step, fade life, fade color. All right, what was this? Fade image draw. Non-existing sprite. Oh, because we're in our create dust. We are not creating dust. We are 
You want to create ducks? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, a lot bigger than I want it to be. Looks like his feet are in fire. So. Back to our dust object. Our vertical speed is going to be negative. Right now, let's just leave it the size it's supposed to be. Make sure it looks correct. It's way too fast. We'll just create one at a time. I'm going to give it a little bit of a more randomness to it. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of wild. Maybe that's too many effects at one time. See, yeah, that or the character is just going too slow. Running. Yeah, it looks a little silly. I don't know if I'd keep that, all of that in there. Maybe crank down the uh, the shadow even more than what it is. Some of the stuff you'll just have to uh, experiment with what you like or don't like. Oh, but here we go, running through everything. Come in. It tries to draw this before anything else, so I'm going to get rid of the first step. Yeah, there we go. Get rid of that extra yellow. There you go. He's running. Through the environment, has a little bit of dust through his thing. You can't really see what he's doing. Yeah, I kind of like that. I, actually, no, it's, not, it's not too bad. Um, anyway, until next time, uh, good luck coding.